Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up and use the Nectar Hex Press which is an electrically controlled one ton press, as well as covering a few details specific to this product. The Nectar Hex Press features isolated temperature control and is capable of producing an impressive 25 to 30% yield. Now let's get into this video starting with an unboxing. Now, while I'm unboxing the Nectar Hex Press, I should mention to you that each machine comes with a two year warranty and we also offer 24 seven lifetime support. So if you ever need to get in touch, feel free to call, email or WhatsApp us. So in the box, you get the Nectar Hex Press, an AC power cord, a full rosin toolkit and an extensive user manual, which includes a Nectar pressing tip, so it's definitely worth a read. Essentially, you get everything you need in the box to allow you to start pressing right away. For those of you who have seen or owned our pollen pincher, then it's worth noting that the Nectar Hex Press is similar with regards to its portability and compressive force, but, and this is a big but, Nectar has gone above and beyond in improving the popular pollen pincher and creating the world's most portable electronic press, allowing you to adjust the plate pressure using two simple buttons. Benefit one, electric presses give the user full control over the heat and temperature settings with electronic pressure control. If you're experimenting with creating the most gourmet extracts, an electric press is ideal. Benefit two, since the electric pump is built into the machine, you don't need to buy and connect an external air compressor or any other paraphernalia, which brings down the net cost of your machine. Benefit three, Again, since the electric pump is built into the machine, you don't need to use a press lever, which allows the device to take full advantage of portability by creating a lightweight machine without having a press handle sticking out of the machine. Now let's put it together so we can get pressing. We want to carefully lift the neck to hex press out of the box and onto a large sturdy flat surface. Now let's connect the power cable to the press and plug it into a socket. That is about all the assembling that this product needs. It is super straightforward and easy to use. The hex press features adjustable six centimeter by nine centimeter dual isolated heating plates, meaning you can control the temperature of each plate individually, an LCD controller where you can control temperature and time functions, including an alarm timer to ensure a quality press. The Hex Press is one of the lightest and most portable rosin presses on the market, weighing only 6.8 kilograms, which makes it easily portable, especially given its all-in-one shell design. You can take this impressive and inconspicuous piece of machinery with you anywhere without attracting attention. It has 220 watts of power and is able to exert a maximum one ton of compressive force onto your chosen material. Before you start pressing, it's vital that you prepare the materials that you will be pressing, particularly if you want to achieve a higher yield. In summary, you should bring your herbs to around 60 to 65% humidity. You should also use a pre-press mold to compact your ground herbs into a puck and finally ensure you do your calculations to ensure you're pressing your material between 300 to 2000 PSI depending on your starting material. Having said all this, there are plenty of tips on how to best prepare your material for the optimal yield and quality in the Nectar user manual. Once that's done, flip the switch on and the control panel should light up. Next, press the top button on the front face to open up the plates. We now want to set the control panel up, so to do this, press the set button to go to the temperature settings mode for the top plate. Press the up or down buttons to select your desired temperature for the top plate, and please note you can hold either of the up or down buttons on the control panel to change temperatures faster. Then press the set button again to go to the temperature settings mode for the bottom plate and repeat the process. Once you have selected your desired temperature, you can press the set button another time to go into the timer settings mode, which is in seconds. So press up or down until you reach your desired time and then press the set button again to go to the temperature scale mode where you can press up or down 
to select either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Once you have set the timer settings, you simply need to press the set button one final time to register all of your settings and you'll notice the plates will start heating when the heating icons are displayed on the screen. As a heads up, the Nectar Hex Press has a temperature range of 0 to 150 degrees and of course check our user manual for Nectar's top tips on the optimal pressing temperatures which vary depending on your starting material as well as whether you want to achieve a higher yield or higher quality. So continuing with the press, wait until the plates have reached your desired temperatures and you will know when they have done so as the heating icon will turn off. Now carefully place the prepared material in the center of the bottom plate between a folded piece of parchment paper to make it easier to scrape off when the rosin has been extracted. Then apply pressure on your material by pressing the plate down button on the front face of the device. You can gradually increase the pressure by letting go of the button and pressing it again to increase your yield. You'll notice when maximum pressure has been reached when the top plate no longer moves lower, at which point you can press the timer button on the control panel and it will start showing a countdown. Once the countdown has ended, the Nectar Hex Press will start beeping. Press the timer button to turn off the timer and stop the alarm. Once your timer has been reached or you notice that no more rosin is being produced, you can lift the top plate by holding the plate up button on the front of your device. Carefully remove the press material using a tool. You can now turn the machine off by flipping the switch and unplug it. Be sure to wait until the plates cool down completely before cleaning or putting the press away. Once your device has cooled down, you can clean the plates by dabbing a cloth into some isopropyl alcohol and rubbing the excess rosin or sticky residue off the plates. Before we wrap this video up, here are some tips that we thought you might like to know. The Nectar Hex Press is ideal for pressing up to 3.5 grams of material at one time. Therefore, if you want to press more than that, then you may be better off with one of our bigger presses like the NP5, NP10 or NP20, which all have bigger plates and much larger compressive forces, but of course come at a higher cost. If you need a device to ingest your rosin, then we recommend checking out the Nectar Platinum or Nectar Hex Vaporizer devices for best flavor and ease of use. We recommend that you don't use filter bags while using the Nectar Hex Press as they are only suitable for more than 3.5 grams, Otherwise, you may end up wasting material in the filter and significantly reducing your yield. You can adjust the positioning of the bottom plate by simply unscrewing these two screws. And we have another video where we go into more detail on this, so definitely check that out if you ever need to readjust the base plate. Also, highly recommend using a pre-pressed mold for the best possible yields, which enable you to form a compressed puck before pressing. We have our own Nectar pre-pressed molds, which you can get, so definitely check those out on our website, which will be linked below. If you need any assistance, please feel free to message the Nectar team via WhatsApp. We hope this video helped you out and that you enjoy your Nectar Hex Press. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can be notified when we drop our next video. Bye!